Good evening, everyone. I am DJ Squirrel. Hello. It is Friday again. I can't even think of what day it is anymore. Um, the 8th of September. The 8th of it's September. Friday. Oh, it's Friday again. It's Friday again. So, we have with Hell you... Hell yeah! Bring on those! Who let Dash in here? <laughs> Guess who's back? Yep. Again. We have with me Cutie, we have Stormspark, we have 10k, we have Miss Rarity, and we have yes, you do. girl slash dash. So, things we're going to talk about tonight. Um, a lot of news we have with us. Uh, today was supposed to be Rarity's Day, but they shifted it to Monday because of Hascon happening right now. I may. I can have con. What is Hascon, you may ask? Hascon is everything Hasbro. They have a fuck ton of Nerf guns there. There's a Nerf gun shooting range, which is badass as hell. My tongue, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I didn't know, I didn't know Hasbro uh, uh, the Nerf. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. Yes, they do. You know what would be um, awesome at, at, uh, if, if they had that. this at Hascon? You remember American Gladiators? You know the mm. Assault game? Where they had uh, like one of the gladiators at this machine gun that shot tennis balls, and then the uh, contestant had to run up and shoot at the, the like a target above the gladiator with. Uh, they they kind of have that there at the con. There is a. Uh, I, that there, would be so badass to do. There there is a at least I think I think it's automated. I can't quite tell from just being a picture. Um, hang on, I'm. I'm busy getting all the links clicked but um but yeah i'll be showing some pictures of uh everything here in a second um but first of all let me get through the rest of the news and then we'll get into that first of all stephen colbert made he had another pony reference on the late show i haven't really been able to watch it because it wasn't working for me when i tried to watch it um what Okay, stupid. So, uh, evidently it had to. Uh, evidently, the reference uh, relates to uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, memoir vis-a-vis -vis the elections. Uh. Uh, so it's probably some sort of throwaway, blame the bronies uh, sort of thing. I haven't seen the clip, but uh, that's what I'm inferring based on yeah. the. Uh, Ah, <clears throat> uh, on the thumbnail image. Basically, <clears throat> he's just going on about yeah, America, America should get a pony, and apparently, Hillary hates ponies or something from Bernie supporters. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Um, so next up to that, uh, Legends of Equestria will be re we'll finally be having open access coming. Um, Sunday at midnight. Hooray! So, and you can actually download it tomorrow, but honestly, I would wait until after the initial rush because I'm sure the servers will be freaking the fuck out and no one will be able to get on. Um, oh, yeah, I would agree. Uh, but they did an environments trailer, which looks, everything looks amazing. Um, looks ripped right from the show. Uh, they even have an area that's not uh, something that you haven't really seen from the show itself. They just kind of <laughs> ma originally made it, but it, it it just looks like a like a bunch of farmland kind of sorta, like an in between land between uh, like basically if you were to go further on beyond Applejack's farm. There's a lot of trees and a lot of uh, just little <laughs> tiny structures and all that stuff. Um, and then... Explore the abandoned pear farm, basically. Basically, yeah, I guess that would be the abandoned pear farm. Uh, for random merch, uh, we have a coloring jigsaw puzzle. That's it's just a jigsaw puzzle you can color. They've got MLP movie Play-Doh, which is honestly just Play-Doh with MLP slapped on it. Um, of course. Hot topic. I mean, is it like uh, a barber uh, shop 
uh, rarity uh, thing, you know, it's like a, a half a head that you. No, they've down. already got they've already got a play set where you can like make molds of pony bodies and do what you want. Yeah, this is just literal, just Play-Doh cans with MLP slapped on my, on them and their colors. Um, Hot Topic has some new stuff, uh, some new T-shirts, a music shirt, <clears throat> a Princess Big Mac shirt. Yay, Princess Big Mac. Um, some, are those socks? I think they're socks. Yes, they're socks. Um, the problem is some of them are, they're all mostly look like they've kind of ripped a little bit off of G3, which kind of sucks. Um, the new EQD, EQ Quester Girls dolls have been revealed and they look just as horrible as the last ones. So <laughs> I'm going to spare you the horror of those pictures. Thank you. Um, but to give you another picture, we have these things. I'm not quite sure what they are besides, besides um, they're just itty bitty pony plushies that look like little... Um, it just looks like they're fucking heads. That's yeah. disturbing. They're just it looks like heads. It look, oh God, it looks like a Yakuri. Yeah, it looks just bizarre. It's like they tried to do the zoom zoom thing, but they failed. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, if you go to Target, um, you can get the Songbird Serenade plush for 14 bucks. $14 for that shit! And she doesn't look yeah. too horrible. Everything's kind of flat, but 14 bucks. <laughs> So, eh. Eh. I guess she looks better than some of the other ones with that flat style on the hair. Yeah. Now, I really Wait wish I could. Are those slippers? I don't know what those are. They're like they beanbag things. They kind of do look like slippers. Yeah. Except with what's going on with their four legs. Or is it? I don't think I want to know what those are. If yeah. their legs or not. Her, her wings look like shit! <laughs> yes, and your legs are above your ears. Mm hmm. I had legs above ears. <laughs> so, and then <laughs> up next, um, another Pinkie Pie Christmas ornaments will be coming out, which I, I really want one of these. Yeah, they're, that's cute. They're, they're done really well. Um. <clears throat> Up next, uh, three new MLP books announced. Ponyville Mysteries, Riddle of the Rusty Horseshoe. Join the CMC as they read mysteries, legends, ghost stories, and every other kind of tale that makes a main stand on end from Ponyville school classmates to Rainbow Dash to the Princess of the Night herself. You'll never know who else or what else awaits if they set up to solve seeming supernatural mysteries around Ponyville. That looks cool. Uh, Beyond Equestria, Pinkie Pie steps up, an exciting original series and continuing story from the upcoming feature film in this expansion to the MLP world. The characters you know and love are off on brand new adventures, so that looks kind of neat. Uh, Beyond Equestria, Rainbow Dash writes the ship. So does this mean Rainbow Dash finally writes her ship of her and Applejack? <laughs> Basically the same thing that I just read. Pretty just much. With Rainbow Dash. Also, Hasbro keeps derping. The title and description the title and description for episode nineteen was slapped on episode seventeen. God Wait, damn. really? Their new upload of the Change of Changeling is all completely mislabeled, showing the <laughs> title and description for It Isn't the Main Thing About You instead. But it still leads you to Change of Changeling file. So. Huh. Oh, that makes sense. That's just confusing as hell. No, that's just Ooh. stupid. Um, also, <laughs> if, if you're on Netflix, you can now get Season 7, Episodes 1 through 13 on there, so you can... Binge watch to your joy and delight. Binge watch to your joy. 
Gameloft releases the MLP movie update. So if anyone's still playing that. Why? Why? Um, yeah, first of all, why? Second of all, why? Yeah. So you get why did, Tempest, why did why? Tempest Shadow suddenly appear in Ponyville? What are true intentions on the U and the CMC? Oh, God. What? And find out and defeat Rissa Minor in a story of a storm. So it's a new kind of limited story. Okay, that sounds yeah, horrifying. They're going to die. They're, they're totally going to die. They're going to die. I won't be there to be awesome and save their asses this time. Nope, they're going to be dead. Um, nope. Sorry, 20... Rarity. Didn't mean for your sister to die, but oh well, she's a dumbass. 20... I'm not arguing. 22 awesome new characters. Uh, you get Tempest Shadow and her childhood friends. What? 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 Nobody spoilers. Plus many more adorable ponies, including Oh Joy, the Yaks. The Yaks mm. don't count as ponies! The Yaks don't care. Eleven new buildings. Dig a spooky cave, brew up a potion workshop. And you can also build a colossal coliseum, a cute mushroom shop, and a terrific terrarium, and more. Those alliterations. A mushroom guys. shop? Get your shrooms. Get your shrooms. A uh, little tree hugger Dude. obviously works there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but tree hugger's out of. Oh, tree hugger. <clears throat> I've it been like saying, a, I've been mixing the downers again. Oh, you look it. You get new decorations. Make your town even more magical with shady bushes, yak gardens, yak fire pit, rainbow falls, and more. You even get uh, Daybreaker. Oh, that's uh, well, that is cool. You do that's a horrifying thought. So, up next, we get some aqua. Uh, awesome background wallpaper from the movie, and they do look pretty epic, I must admit. Um, we have one of the uh, of the bird's ship looking up at their kind of wheelhouse towards the back of it. We have a couple landscape shots of the uh, undersea area. Uh, another view of the ship, just kind of the cargo hold stuff. And what is more that? More undersea stuff, more cargo. Uh, what appears to be is that like I don't know what that is. Runway, like a yeah, gangplank. All I can see is a gangplank or a runway. I can't really tell. <laughs> some more cargo stuff, some more sequestrious stuff, and then just like the uh, blow hold hatch for the ship, for the airship thing, pirate ship. Bah. So, eh, they could have done a little better, I think. Um, but speaking of pirates and ponies, we also get some high-res vectors from the movie websites. So, I did not realize that Twilight's pirate hat has her cutie mark plastered all over it. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Shameless self-promotion. And then... Of course, Rainbow Dash in her kind of um, steam, sp steam spunk, steam, steam punk, spunk, steam punk outfit. My brain cannot work. Um, I forgot how badass Applejack looks in hers. Well, with her, thank you. With her Applejack eye patch. Oh yeah. Oh, Fluttershy. Has her, uh... Fluttershy looks smug as all hell. And <laughs> frankly, all right. She Frankly, is. Pirate Angel scares the hell out yeah, of me. Yeah, Pirate Angel does scare the hell out of me. Pirate Punk is punky as punk. 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 Um, Rarity looks freaking dashing as always and has her ears pierced like a boss. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. And Spike, of course, gets swept under the rug. Oh, what do you expect? He's a fucking fax machine. He is a fucking fax machine. Wow. All right. Jeez. Now Jesus. for the moment we've all been waiting for. Um, here is the uh, Hascon stuff. And actually, I'm going to make sure that 
I can oh, have one brief little one brief little note uh, yeah. while you're digging that up. Uh, today mm-hmm. also happens to be a happy birthday to Miss Michelle Krieber, the voice oh, yeah. of Yay. Apple Bloom. Oh wait, that is today, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Claps and applause. Yep. Actually, she's just... eighteen. Yep. She's and no, legal. she's not, and she's still not damn legal. <laughs> she's yeah. still not an adult. For all, you, for all you fucking perverts, Apple Bloom will never be legal at this point. Yeah. <laughs> even yeah. even yeah. Bell's looks native, older than her. Even yeah. even in her in her native land of British Columbia, she is not legal. So don't you dare touch that poor cinnamon child. Yeah. Damn Game of Kill- Yeah, Game All of right. Kill- Yeah, uh, Age of Majority is uh, delegated to to the uh, provinces and territories in Age uh, of Canada. Majority? Uh, age of Legal Adulthood. Oh, I've just never heard it called that. Anyway, yeah, term. no. Yeah, you yeah, you assholes. And the, and reason number two why you can't touch it. Reason number one is Black Griffin will murder you in your sleep. Pretty sure. That uh, yeah. is what I just said. That's he, Gabe he, he, he is army <laughs> trained. So I thought uh, he was he's a na- no, he's navy. Or, wait, no, navy he's trained. Na- he's, he's navy trained. Either way, he's trained. he's trained to kick your ass. Yeah, he is trained yes. to kick your ass. Either way, so he okay. and his brother. Yes. Anyway, back to uh, back to Hascon. The Equestria booths, gone. the Equestria girls booth tour. They have a lot of actually really cool looking clothes. It's too bad I'm not a girl. So I would totally be up for these. Um, you can always crossplay. I could always do that, couldn't I? Um, so there's yeah, some of those. That's really... actually some pretty well done outfits there. Yeah. Really on the back. Oh, up next. Honestly, there's not a lot of stuff that we haven't seen. There's just more of the minis with some kind of play set stuff. The uh, theater play sets, the Rain Booms play sets. <laughs> this picture here just kind of makes me laugh. I don't know if this was intentional or someone just knocked her over. <laughs> it's it's both oh, side pies. Probably knocked over due to the force yeah. of that favor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but both. I did... <laughs> My God. I ate pizza. What do you want from me? Both do you have a wild boar in there with you? I know, right? I can't burp like that. But we have both Saitwise and regular Twilight's kind of been literally knocked over, just pushed to the side. Yeah, um, they don't care. They just course, knock her over. Of course, Sunset her in her little sushi truck. I which, still don't get where the where that whole thing started. I I don't know, but I just find it I just find it cute. Cute, um, funny. Just cute and funny. Here's some more of the clothes that they had. I'm sorry I can't really describe these very well, but um, they're very but they cute. do look they do look nice. You'll they're just cute have to in know. character outfits, and they definitely work with Oops. the uh, wigs that they provide. Yeah. Although yeah. I'm sure you have to find yeah. them. I do like uh, the punk that they've got going. Yeah, it's really nice. Like they oh. the, that person who did it just did an amazing yeah, job. It's it's kind of. Like a tutu skirt, if you will. Yeah. Uh, in ter- it's a tool. Of- it's a tool skirt. Yeah. I- She's a tool. Oh, I-, I am totally digging the Rainbow Dash outfit. Uh, of course you are. Uh-huh. Hold on. What is this last one? Oh, it's a wonder bolt on that one. Like even the background art. It really is. <clears throat> the background art looks really good too. Very it really does. near graffiti ish, but still really just really good, really well done. Can't complain. Good job. Good job, Hasbro. Your marketing team is doing a good job. Um Oh, speaking of marketing team, uh in Canada they had joined with a Froyo company. Oh. Making some promotional yogurt. And Frozen it's, yogurt. Apparently not that bad, um, from what the review was. The the same company had also apparently made a charcoal with activated charcoal froyo, which was very gross. Which yeah, that sounds very gross. Why would you put charcoal in yogurt? 
Uh, um, activated charcoal is supposedly a detoxifying agent. Mm. Uh, largely yeah, because activated charcoal is used uh, in uh, water filtration. Mm -hmm. That's gross. That is very gross. Oh, I can actually personally testify to that because I was, you could say, kind of poisoned as a child and they made me drink liquid charcoal. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an uh, epic hack. Anyway, yep. off to the... Uh, but it is gross, regardless. Off to more has Connie things. Spike has grown up. Has Connie. Has so Connie. That's kind of... Not uh, sure that's it's horrifying. Not sure. a giant plushie. I that's know, scary. Right? Also... Uh, there's a We Love Fine booth, which I'm glad they're still, go still going <gasps> strong. I'm surprised yes. they're still there. No, nice they don't do just still there. They've got other fandoms. No, now. I know. Oh, I know. no, we know that. Just, they're expensive as hell. They're really cool stuff, but they're just they still expensive. They really are, aren't they? And, well, I've what, got what, a... Uh, what's, how long has it been since I've been oh, to the website? What sucks is they used to throw in all this cool stuff when you bought stuff from them, but they don't do that anymore, which makes yeah. me sad. Aww. Um... I've got a derpy that I bought from someone else who bought it from the website. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's supposed to be. Yeah, and that's how I found them. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is cool." Some people are like, "You can sell this thing for like way more than you bought it," and I was like, "But it's mine." For more <laughs> emotional yeah. stuff, there was a. Um... Oh, Greymane. Speaking of, if you can make it to High Roller Pony Con. And if they can get We Love Fine as a vendor, you'll get a free messenger bag if you buy a shirt. Oh, that giant messenger bag? Yes, I have two of them. You must be really happy. I was very happy because people wouldn't shut up about it when I was at Comic-Con this year. They were like, that is so cool. I was like, okay. Where would you get that bag? Exactly. Where'd you get that's, it? that's literally what they kept asking me. Where did you get that? So I kept having to tell them. Yes, <laughs> it's over there. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, um, I have a bag like that. Unfortunately, the group where I got mine from is no longer around. So, up next, uh, apparently Rainbow Dash also grew up. Oh? Okay, yes. now I know that is a guy in a suit. Oh, that has that's to be a guy scary. In a suit. Indeed. What they that's don't scary. tell you about these suits that we're seeing is that they are actually to scale. Oh. <laughs> yes. They're what? <laughs> Complete with the oh. zipper on the inside yep. uh, front. Right I, I gotta say, seeing all these little Gashapon figures and stuff from the last one, I, I want them. Yeah. I totally want them. I love okay. Gashapon. They're my great weakness. Can I just say that when yeah. you said to scale 10, it sounded like you said, like, something kale? And I was like, they're made of kale? What the fuck? <laughs> if they were made... Hold on, hold on, hold on. If they were made of kale, I would throw it out. Yes. Well, <laughs> Kale's I mean, disgusting. They're, they're ponies. They are vegetarians. I mean, I know, yeah. but I don't like kale. Yeah, neither. <laughs> so, uh, of course, Spike being his puffy fish. Uh, Those spikes would poke that. your eye out. Oh my god! He'll poke more than your eye out. Better hope that doesn't come down from the ceiling. Yeah, I know, right? I wish. That... I wish he hadn't turned into a puffer fish. Really? Yeah. So many uh, better choices. I can see the jokes, the headlines now. Oh, Spike God. pufferfish figurine and underneath. Mm -hmm. Also, Rarity made her mark at the, at the convention. But I'm chain. Oh, that's was, that's clever. Yes, Indeed. it is. That was really good. My own hoof print. Like and then this was apparently a, an exclusive uh, goodie bag. Uh that you got if you went to the con which holy crap those those shirts and the pin oh, wow. look oh, wow. amazing that's so cool that's pretty oh, cool, yeah. they are pretty I think nice I've seen that oh, I haven't seen that art looks familiar in the, for that uh, shirt I like how they just have plus Spike the dragon at the bottom yeah <laughs> <laughs> can't forget Spike can. but he's still I've... just tagged on yep um they're doing their Magic the Gathering thing, of course. Is it magic? I yeah, guess so. Yeah, there's the uh, Ogres and uh, Oubliettes uh, mm -hmm. dice set. Yeah, oh. Um, then apparently there's going to be a whole family of Rainbow Dash onesie pajamas. 
Seriously? Oh. Dashi, your thoughts? Jesus I, Christ. I think even Dashi finds it creepy. Clearly yeah. she flew away. Of course, the headline above it is a little, um, off. The cozy pajamas. pajamas. From Cybertron to Equestria. That's even worse. What does Cybertron have to do with it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do your thoughts on those pictures? On that picture? <laughs> no, no, please. Just no. Oh, she doesn't want. To... Oh, good. She's not thinking. Then about of course it. we mustn't ever forget these. Uh, you you know of the the Game of Thrones throne. Well, yeah. Now yeah. We have a. The now we have, of the Iron Throne. Now we have the uh, Sequestria throne. Oh, that's actually really cool, though. It's a chair draped in a cloth. Yep. Oh wow! Yeah. Not not if they actually had the physical thing, that would be really cool. Then I actually, uh, I actually saw the physical cool, thing on my rent fair last year. That was pretty I... badass. Then of course lame. they have the colored so this wall, is pretty cheap. and then look at these plushies. Look at these plushies. Look at them. Just do look it. Look at them. Just look at them. Oh my oh, god. No, 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 no. I want them. Well, <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with them? And then it was like, I don't I want, want them. the ones like, oh. with the, the strip fabric for hair. Those ones yeah, are just. Yeah, I agree. No, I don't want those. I want oh, the. Look at that. Look at that. At, uh, that Twilight South mm -hmm. Well, Skitty mane, you mean? <laughs> no skitty manes. No skitty manes. What the rest? I like skitty manes. Blech. Tempest Stossel looks great. And then, I think course... the only problem I have with the bigger ones is the mains just look like flat fabric. It's well, just... so they're basic. That's what they are. They're two D. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. I'd rather pay the thirty bucks and get the cheaper knockoff ones. Um, <laughs> and then, if anyone's a fan of that Hanazuki show, which I really, really need to check out really badly. Which one? Um, <laughs> Hanaz Hanazuki. Hanazuki. I don't think I've seen it. Uh, they have. Oh wow! <laughs> they have those there, and then. Oh my gosh! I apologize. I was looking at the wrong throne. This is did, the throne I was looking. Did at. Did the Paris yeah, pipes cause... go bunny ears? Because that's what I'm getting from. That. I know that's yeah. what I'm getting too. It's it's strange, but here's Twilight, here's the. Look what your magic has done. Here's the oh, actual oh, throne. Oh, that that is a sports throne. Mm -hmm. I actually own that set. I bought you, it. You have a throne in your house? No. Well, she is storm. Well, I mean, no, no, no. That's from the San Diego codes Comic Con. Building require at least a half bath. Yeah, this is from the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, was it bloody Protectors of Equestria or something bullshit like that last mm -hmm. year? Yeah. And it's a Discord and Fluttershy set. I've got the Celestia set from the same thing. I really want them all. Uh, I know, they are pretty boss. They are um, really good. And now, off to manly things. The nerf. Oh, manly Jesus. thing. And then, hang on, no. hang on. This is this should be illegal. This wall should be illegal. That looks illegal, that gun. This wall yeah. should be illegal. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh goodness, mm. that is a lot. Uh, Everybody, oh, get your friends. We're gonna play a game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't let to... anyone. Okay, hey, I just did. Hey, hey everybody. Yes. Who's mm -hmm. gonna shoot the basketball hoops? <laughs> shoot the basketball. Nobody. Hoops. Okay, now what's this one? Is looks that like a, a Nerf sniper rifle? Looks like a Nerf sniper rifle or a rocket launcher. I can't really That's tell. That's what I call dibs. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. I can just. <laughs> oh, I, that that takes you back to my days when we would take over the backyard and have walkie-talkies and just lose all of our Nerf darts in five minutes. That sounds about right. Mm. Um, and then here was yeah. the main the main hall. Is there any time that anyone ever went to, then you ran out of darts, you just threw the damn gun. <laughs> Someone's been watching too many action films. Oh, 
Speaking of acts, uh, speaking this of... This looks like um, the main events. Yes, that was the main events hall. And then speaking of the main events hall, I actually went and looked at the... Uh, I looked at Vivi's uh, <clears throat> video blog of BronyCon, and wow, they broke their budget with their main events hall. It was quite, quite a thing. Massive? It was... I mean, it was the same room as before, but the the, the screens were huge and they had big like light light wall things behind it although they did cheapen, what happens when you're backed by a major corporation they did cheapen out by showing the uh, intro from 2015 uh, which uh, couldn't be asked to yeah they, they couldn't be asked to uh, make a new one I guess by um, the way, uh, the Aussie corn has arrived. How you doing? Sorry. Um, she may or may not be there. Uh, um, we'll get back to her. We'll get back to her. Anyway, the Equestria Girls panel. Um, what happened was the panel covered everything from the history of the creation, how it planned out, to future events. Uh, they played a clip from the EQG short, Overpowered. Where, um, where, where sunset, sunset basically is is having a problem where she kind of <laughs> went. I swear, Alex Mack did the same thing, where she kept reading people's mind. Like she can't control her mind reading now, <laughs> and now she's like hearing what everyone is thinking about her specifically herself that's um, scary yeah i'm sure there's a um, character like that out there yeah so apparently it, it, it's you can watch it now on crappy cell phone recording if you want but i'm just gonna wait until it gets officially re wa released to watch it uh some major some major other points for the new season of toys they got our professional red carpet stylist to restyle them Ooh. um a two minute short about Sunset Shimmer drawing a comic and then animating it was released based on the Legends of Equestria, or Le I'm sorry, Legends of Everfree Girls Catching a Jewel Thief. Uh, what is this? Mood boards were used to help conceptualize the Equestria Girls specific characters originally. This includes using the latest trends to style them. Lots of, lots of denim. Okay, these are about the clothes. <clears throat> Fluttershy was flowery, of course, but Twilight Sparkle was menswear inspired. <coughs> Okay. Really Sunset was rocker with studs, and the design of their clothing was Carol. Oh, the designer. Okay, the design. Yeah, designer of their clothing was Carol. Okay, that doesn't really help. Um, transitioning to these designs to animation was difficult. It's more like animating a paper doll. They had to tone it down to the constraints in Flash. A school play concept is coming up. <coughs> um. Ooh, here we go. When asked if there was a Sunset Shimmer doppelganger rolling around, one of the panelists noted that her pet theory is that it was always Sunset's fate to travel to human land, and there isn't an original Sunset in this world. They are leaving this open in canon, though. No Discord planned yet. And then, this also looks very interesting, a Choose Your Own Adventure YouTube series was announced and this is EQG where a coal miner's daughter wants to disco uh, in another instance the audience was given the choice between Sunset, Applejack and Twilight for a main character to save Fluttershy who is stuck complete with loads of fourth wall breaking Rainbow Dash is the fairy boot mother <laughs> the choose your own adventure series is, is expected for November so that looks very, very interesting. Lastly, um, let's see. I'm trying not to get myself confused here. Think, Too late. Did I just go all through this? Kind of sort of. Um. Oh, there's just more okay? pictures of the con. Um, ooh, this is kind of... Oh, that's the throne. Okay. 
Here's a bigger shot of the throne with a ginormous twilight sparkle to stare at your face. Creepy. I actually, I actually really like the sign. <clears throat> Him. Let's fly it's just, to the merchandise. It just looks whimsical. Ooh. And then here's a bunch of, I'm guessing, original artwork from people that they made. And then well, here's kind of empty. another shot. Just kind of. Just kind of. Actually, some of those might be comic book covers. Yeah. Um. Everything else is just kind of regular old con stuff. Here's some more um, brushables that they're coming out with. They don't look half oops, half bad. At first, I thought Fluttershy was one of the new design changelings, but I was wrong. <laughs> um, is that all you think of her? Here's the here's a here's those plushies again. Those really chibi, kind of crummy ones. Um, some artwork. Basically, it looks almost like a screenshot of Cantrelot from the movie. But it, that would be really nice to put on the wall. Actually, I would actually really like that. Oh, so same old, same old playset stuff. This is kind of cool. They made it look like the um, the uh, ship. The ship. They made the they made it look like ship. the ship, the pirate ship. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Yar yarn stuff. Yarn stuff. Like yar. Like yar. <clears throat> Oh. Have you been hanging around that golf chick a lot? Maybe. Pretty much everything else. Does your else girlfriend is... know? I don't even know she's not hanging out with her also. Oh. Uh, guys, she's not in the golf. She's into like prissy bitches or sporty bitches. Meaning well, you wish she was into you, huh? Uh, meaning she was into me. As far as you're concerned, Ash, everybody's into you. They are! <laughs> I took that completely out of context. Except except for Zephyr Breeze. Yep. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Did anybody else notice? Okay, in that actually last he is into you. You're you just you just don't reciprocate. That's good. Uh he's the only dude I wouldn't bang. Thank goodness. Did anybody else notice in that last picture in the top right, or sorry, top left corner, there's a tiny little Twilight figure just standing on one of the boxes. Yeah. Why oh, do a teeny tiny Twilight? Yes, you can almost put her in your pocket. I want it. <laughs> you want it? I want the tiny Twilight. You want a twi tiny Twilight like a... Uh... <laughs> Like her and that ballerina get up. I don't think anybody wants mm -hmm. that one. No. Okay, okay good. Starlight. At least we have. I wouldn't one. mind a starlight that tiny. <laughs> <laughs> of course you wouldn't. It's cute. Is somebody crunching on something? Why are you eating? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not the person who's munching. So? Yes? What else is there? Uh, that's basically it. I was just hoping you'd get back on track as you were fell going completely silent. Well, I'm yeah, getting lost. there's the dead there. I'm, li there's I'm lost because I'm trying to follow a bazillion other conversations. Apparently, Mitzius has been PMing me, asking me questions, and I'm like, okay, why is Mitzius well, asking me while questions? Well, while the dead air is, well, while the dead air is around, why don't, why don't we, we take a music break? break? So we're yeah, gonna take a, like a plan. we're gonna take a quick music break, and and when we get back, you get more of me, Rainbow Dash, on Celestial Radio's Tree Time, all pony all the time, except when it's Dash, or Dash muzzled if I can help it. Indeed. And we're back. Hello, everyone. We have um, our resident. We have our 
resident hurricane reporter. Now over to Ollie with the weather. What's the weather look like, Ollie? It go rain! Thank you, Ollie. Pretty much. <laughs> um, but yes, I guess I'll just do it now since he's here. Stay safe. <coughs> If yes, all my uh, Florida people. Leave, I may be an asshole, and I'm making jokes about the hurricane. Home. Please be safe if you're on the coastal area. Please evacuate Thanks. if you haven't already. So, anyway. Um, I like the post, though. To, to move away. Like the um, yeah. So, we're going to move away from ponies for a little bit. And... Wow, they are loving your themed drinks there, Shirley. <laughs> Holy crap. They are loving it. <laughs> like, what's the IRC? What? What? Apparently, Squirrel shared the thing <laughs> with the IRC or someone. No, I shared it I shared it with the High Rollers uh, chat. Oh. And they're like, and, and so the CEO of their chat is like, oh my god, that Nightmare Night, that Nightmare Moon would be my themed drink. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Shirley. You're gonna get people fucked up. And and now their their head of security is like that Luna mix is mine. <laughs> um, Holy fuck! Way to make an impression there, buddy. Shirley, I I need, hang on. I need to remember what the hell was in the Luna. Luna no, I'll look Luna. it up. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm there. Wait, no, I didn't make a Luna yet. <laughs> I still haven't uh, seen one yet. You need the Nightmare Moon. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry. This I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't tell. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> everyone's getting pretty excited. <laughs> um. Anyway. Oh uh, yes, moving on to ponies. Doing? Um. So apparently, oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Nightmare Moon. Uh, liar take on the autumnal que- equinox. Two ounces of red merlot, half ounce of grand marnier, half ounce of amaretto almond liquor. Four ingredients in an old-fashioned glass over ice and stir, garnished with a wedge of orange. Simple, dark, and powerful enough to challenge the, sis- the sun. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, ponies! Uh, squirrel, what oh, are we ponies. doing? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm busy. Fucking tired. I'm busy. busy well, busy speaking of ponies, out. because Tin and I didn't get to talk about it yes, uh, last Saturday, because we were conning it up, um... Holy shit, all of the shipping between with Trixie and Glimmy. Yes. <laughs> no kidding. I mean, Trixie's, the first words out of Trixie's mouth were, well, not exactly straight, Starlight. <laughs> That's an understatement. No, that. <laughs> okay, what? Oh. Understatement of the fucking year. Now, my personal theory right now is that Trixie is crushing hard on Glimmy. Oh, God. But Glimmy is oblivious. I don't know. Remember that one bit when Glim, Glim wanted to help out uh, Fairings and she just gave that smile to Trixie and Trixie's like, no way. And then she's like, huh? And smiled bigger. She's like, all right, fine. I think Glimmy knows that she can make Trixie do whatever she wants by smiling. She's a bitch. She's ignorant by choice. She's trying to not think about it yet. I, I don't think Glimmy's oh, ready for so the relationship living- stage. Oh, so she's Is living Is that why this... you guys just fuck all over the damn castle? Pretty much. For your oh. information, Rainbow Dash, Trixie does not do anything inappropriate with Glimmy in Twilight's castle. That shit's reserved for the wagon. Yeah, the shagging wagon. <laughs> Is that why it, you don't have wheels on it? So that it doesn't freaking roll away? <laughs> That she's it. gotten over her wheel problem, okay? <laughs> Besides, you're just jealous that I was Glimmy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm shacking up with half the Wonder Bolts. You think I care? <laughs> Trixie's not surprised. Everyone wants a piece of rainbow tail. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> anyway, squirrel. I can't, can I, we... I came back to that, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> on the okay. subject of the of the of the video of the episodes, um, of the episode, it was pretty good. I actually, when Pharynx transformed, I was like, why couldn't the rest of the changelings look like him? Black yeah, and because reasons. Yeah, his his color scheme's a lot better. Yeah. But 
I, wait, I find wait. it interesting that we have the elder brother is now the shorter, darker one, and the older and the younger brother is the taller, brighter colored one, and they're now the uh. prince, they're now the um, ruler and captain of the guard of the Changeling Hive. I'm like, huh? I'm seeing a few parallels between Celeste and Luna here, and it's nice yeah, to finally get. No, no. It's yeah, nice. To get, it's nice to finally get some male uh, some male role models in leadership roles here in the show. I just don't. I just hope they're ca- careful, otherwise a steel will get it will get involved here. Yeah. Watch yourself. Watch you sh- yourself. You should have boys. heard. You should have heard Pharynx yesterday or er, yesterday <laughs> last week. He had such horn envy. Yeah. <laughs> why would he be jealous of? Why would he be jealous of uh, Thorax's antlers? I, I don't because understand. Because he because he's the older brother. He's got a. Pair of tiny horns on his head. <laughs> he has little pin. He has mini pincers on his head. Antibles, as I like to call it. Antibles. Are you guys talking about my horns again? Oh, oh hi. I did not. Oh, they could also be mantlers. Or mantlers, yeah. Mantlers. I don't like it when you guys talk about my horns. Because they're uh, small. Hey, shut up, um, Pharynx. I need to warn you. Keep your brother away. From someone known as Molestia. Why? Well, you, you know how he acted talking about um, egg bearing. Oh yeah. This will this will scar him worse. Huh. Protect your baby brother. Well, well to be honest, I've heard a th- I've heard a theory that goes that the reason Celestia hasn't been able to. Be with any ponies because she doesn't have the option of being the small, the little spoon when they when they cuddle. So <laughs> I, I think I think thorax might just be the thing she needs. No, he's too pure. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, thorax <laughs> thorax is pretty obviously good at manipulation. Well, only only they are his brother. I mean, just saying. Anyway, uh, Squirrel, didn't you have something <coughs> going on? Okay. <coughs> so, um, continuing with my thoughts. Uh, apparently, the reboot that should never be here, actually several of those reboots, um, there has now being, there is being added a fourth Powerpuff Girl to the Powerpuff Girls reboot. Mm. Uh, Why? Listen, we and already tried a fourth Powerpuff. I mean, it's, it's, funny. it's, this is not Bunny, apparently. <laughs> Although we Which don't is, really know who the name of this one is yet, but we know what she looks like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Bunny's, Bunny's story was one of the most important, absolutely most heart-wrenching ones that Powerpuff Girls ever came out of, I came yes, up did. with. It was, it addressed mental illness, it addressed physical, uh, physical um, ailment. And also, just focused on loving family, no matter what. Those girls yes. loved Bunny, even though she didn't look a thing like them. That she had the heart of a Powerpuff. They adored her. They mourned her death. Yes. How dare these fuckers step on that? Yes. But I don't need a fourth one. Apparently, <laughs> this one basically looks like a really bad Deviant Art character. Oh, do you have a picture to link? Oh, show one second. Show, unless... show, us this, show us this piece of shit that should have do, very original Dune Age steel plaster. Hold on. All right, I gotta you scroll. say that we don't know what her name is. I know what her name is. Her name is Do Not Fucking Care. Yep. Oh, Lord. It's like, way better. Seriously, back here. Can, can we just talk I'm looking, to I'm looking. these cartoon companies mm-hmm. and just tell them that we don't need these reboots like even Cartoon Network is aware that we don't need these reboots because all of a sudden now they're starting to air the original Teen Titans <laughs> not as much as Teen Titans go but they're oh. airing the original Teen Titans and it's still as awesome as I remember <clears throat> well yep. duh it's not any different exactly we don't need it to be different we don't need I a reboot think, just I, air the original I think what Trade was saying is that it's aged very well the original yes, Teen exactly. Titans are pretty old but, like, but, I saw they they aired two episodes. There, there was the one. There's the, um... Oh, oh my fucking god. She does, look like a de- yeah. she does look like a deviant art character. Yep. But, but she's, like, but she's, also, but she's also wearing... She also is bunny. She's taller. She's got the purple dress. Oh, my god. And she has why? 
and she has the pale hair. All they did was, I mean, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to pull in another demographic, but you know what? Taking no. Bunny's character to a character and slapping her as a POC is not going to fix this the horse shit show. No, yes. I'm not a nope. better idea than that would work anyways. <laughs> Why didn't they have the professor date a black woman? And they like her! Yeah. <sighs> like, we well, don't need the, reboots. Well, and, sweetie, probably for the exact same reason they got rid of Miss Bellum. Yep. Because <sighs> they're sexist. Yep. <sighs> they are. Even though Ms. Bellum was the most feminist and absolutely most um, positive. Pro- positive role model and of character ever, even in spite they sh- they used her. Yes, they never showed her face. Yes, they did always did close-ups of her body, but they never focused entirely on her body. It was always to juxtapose the fact that she was a mm-hmm. fucking genius. Yep. Yeah, I mean, every single time she had to do something, she was always the voice of reason. She was always the smart one. She was yeah. to be to be fair when you've got the job. mayor. Mm-hmm. Uh, being the mayor, someone has to clean up that shit show. Yeah, and <laughs> clearly, clearly, she's uh, oh, shit. What's his name? Uh, she, she's the chief of staff. Yes. Uh, what's his General Kelly? Yeah, uh, she's a much more competent General Kelly to the mayor's Donald Trump. I would rather have the mayor so, of Townsville as president of the United States than Donald Grizzly, Trump. Grizzly, that point isn't the point isn't they missed with my ch- childhood and their stu- cartoon suit for a much younger audience. MLP is, is is aimed at the same audience as Powerpuff and as the um and the Teen Titans Go. Steven Universe is aimed at the same age uh, ages as these two these two shows. They do a much better damn job of treating their kids and their uh, of treating the kids they're aiming it at as intelligent human beings, but they also make it entertaining enough for the ups watching. These yeah, but- two shows, the Powerpuff Girls tries to do the shit that Steven Universe and and MLP does, but they shit all over it. And mm-hmm. I need I, I remind you even of say the they transgender. Try. Need I remind you of the tra- of their attempt to address quote unquote transgender issues with a u- with a horse that wanted to be a human. The guy who wrote that episode said it had nothing to do with transgender issues. It was just a st- story about being a unicorn. And then suddenly, you know, the people, the executives were like, no, make it this. Say it's progressive. Let's get people behind it and think they're cool yeah, and progressive. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, this is the same company who claimed that, um, you know, that one guy, that one character that was practically <laughs> stopped in Blossom that looked very, very similar to one of the <laughs> writers in the show and has constantly shown up, like, continually harassing Blossom. I'm like, and he claims, no, this isn't my self-insert. Yes, oh, it shit. is. Yeah. What's worse is he has Blossom reciprocate his feelings. You're a grown-ass man stalking a little girl. It's gross. Yeah, no, anyway. I don't... This now, is now, now, you're making it look normal on a children's show. Are you, you trying go, to tell little girls that a grown man can go ahead and stalk them and date them? You are sick, you assholes. This is not the same as them just, you know, messing around with a TV show meant for kids that based on nostalgia. This is them getting everything fucking wrong and making yep. it worse. There you, go, okay? fair, there you go, our fair listeners. Now you don't have to feel guilty about crushing on one of the MLP characters because you never do something this disgusting. <laughs> yeah, at least you're not stalking a five-year-old girl. Craig McCracken is rolling in his chair. Yeah, he is writhing. Yeah, he's, I can tell. I, didn't he actually give an interview where he's pretty damn pissed off? Probably. I wouldn't doubt um, it. Well, when I interviewed Lauren Faust that one time, she looked really sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. what's, what's, up to her? what's what's more really uh oh, but yeah and teen titans go is essentially just memes and gags it's not even about story anymore whereas the original teen titans w- tried to live oh, up to i the feel same, so sorry for and that. it what lived up to the mean? same mm-hmm. it tried to live up to the same standards as the rest of the dc animated universe and they were they had engaging stories but occasionally had one-offs had some silliness, but they still kept that superhero feeling. They still stayed true to the various characters. In fact, they improved on the characters. The Starfire of Teen Titans is not the same Starfire as the comic book Teen mm-hmm. Titans. Yeah, oh, I feel so sorry. I she's feel so better sorry. than the other. Uh, she's come back and do that. And that she's whole better. She's better. Even yeah, Rachel is different. Out not to be 
man's fantasy. Yeah. In and fact, the, whole... the Teen Titan, the anime Teen Titans, have influenced the new comics so that Starfire is less of a sex symbol and more and more of a person, and Raven know. has more that. shit to deal with. Have you seen the DC animated movie verse of the Teen Titans? Starfire is still pretty goddamn sex symbol. Well, and I know. I I said the comics. I said Mm. the comics have improved. Um, The comics have made her more of a person. And the comics did the same thing with Raven. I say just one one thing. (laughs) Watch the the Night Begins to Shine episodes. They're very good. That's one out of like 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. But it's something. Um, like it. It's uh, compared to MLP, where even the lamest filler episode at least has some merit to it and isn't just a hashtag or a freaking cash in, man. Continuing on to other reboots, though, um, the Magic School Bus <laughs> will be getting its reboot <laughs> yes, at the, the end Magic of September. Thought, but at least it looks I don't understand. Fun. Why did this need a reboot? Because uh, science? It's not, well, the thing is, the Magic because School Bus. Money. It's not just money. In the case of the Magic School we Bus, it, Magic it did. School bus. We miss Magic School Bus. It's yeah. tr- it was genuinely educational, but also entertaining. Here's but the thing is, a the, lot of the but a lot of things have to change with it. A lot of stuff has to grow up with it. Plus, you know, we do need science, and we need to teach yeah. it to kids. The the V it's just a having, perfect medium. Absolutely, I agree with you there. Having the old VAs is awesome. That's actually well, really from good. What I understand, from what I understand, Miss <laughs> Frizzle's just gonna like hand the keys off to her little yeah. sister. Yeah. Yeah. But, but at least they at least they made they that made, effort. They picked a really good actress for the little sister. What I don't like is the cheap ass, shitty, horribly rushy done animation. Yeah, the it animation looks, it could looks be like better. Like an awful flash. Yeah. Looks horrible. I don't know, guys. Do you remember the original Magic School Bus animation? Well, at least yeah, that, that looked was it. pretty cheap. It, uh, it, everyone uh, had this off-putting smile in that. At <laughs> least they don't look so stiff and rigid like they do in this. There is well, at least I, some well, semblance although, of, although, of character. Is that running already? I, I do. Ha- I do have no. to say. I do have to say. Um, let's see how long it takes until Fox News decides to say that this new reboot is brainwashing children with mm. liberal, liberal ideas. Oh, That's speaking <laughs> speaking of brainwashing children, that actually gets me to my next segment. Um, <laughs> Saber Sparks' latest episode about that propaganda cartoon that North Korea is putting out, uh, Squirrel and Hedgehog. <laughs> quite, quite an enlightening um, cartoon series, I must say, because basically how it goes is it started in the '70s, and then it kind of stopped for like 20 years, and then it kind of started up, up, started up again in early 2000s, and it just kind of kept going where the old series left off. Basically, what happened was is you have the squirrels and the hedgehogs who are living in the peaceful utopian community of Flower Hill fighting the horrible weasels oh, and God, I'm bored already. the uh, some other animals and they have a bear that protects them. Now, let's yeah. let's let's think about who all these characters are. First of all, Flower Hill, what do you think that is? The North, North Korea. Korea. That is North Korea. The squirrels are the North Koreans, as are the hedgehogs. Wait, the hedgehogs are South Korea. The bear is is Xinjiang. the Soviets and or yeah, Russia. Robins, yeah. um, uh, the weasels are Japan. Really? I thought the weasels were <laughs> No, the weasels are Japan. Now, hang on. Now, in the 70s, we weren't really there yet. Um, but in the 2000s, oh my god, we are wolves, and we come fucking rushing in and kick everyone's asses, basically. Oh, so basically, yeah, that the, cartoon. The, the plot is the... Wait, wait America character. is wolves? America yeah. is wolves, yes. Fuck yes! Fuck you, North Korea! We're hang wolves. on, hang on, and here's they the best it. part. Don't here's, say that, they made the cartoon. Here's, here's the best part. The best part is the, um... The main wolves' aide is a very, very, very sexualized lady fox. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And 
<laughs> Saber Spark made the most epic of um, most epic of, of statements here. Even in a crappy uh, proletarian dictatorship country, furries still exist. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, and actually, the reason the reason I said that, squirrels, because if I ever meet, met like a North Korean, like who was a hardcore like you know, nationalists, like, fuck you, America, we have a children's cartoon about you, you're wolves, I'd be like, that's fucking cool! That's fucking Thanks. awesome as shit! Yeah. I'd like, yeah. want to be the wolves that eat your face. so awesome! But yes, <laughs> this is... We want to be the fucking wolves that eat your face! This is, like, this is kind of, this is what she looks like. And... Right. Hot damn. Yeah. E yeah. So that's someone... Yeah. Someone, someone's hot been damn. looking up. Yeah. Yeah. Hot damn. Hot damn. It's yeah. Like, it, it's, Congrats, guys. You guys. As a matter of fact, yeah, you, you know the uh, hot damn. you know the old MGM cartoons that uh, <laughs> adapted uh, Red Riding Hood, and they've got the wolf in the nightclubs whistling yes. and making cat calls. Now we know why they chose wolves. No, yeah. actually, here's the thing. I'm. This girl looks like she's a real sixty three version of awesome. Star Fox. Yeah, kinda. Like everyone is standing at but attention. I love. This is probably is my. Call it? This is probably the best. Uh, this th this image I'm going to be putting. Uh, I'm going to be uh -oh. having so on my does, screen every Fourth of July. <laughs> yep. What the hell, squirrel? <laughs> America, fuck yeah! What's up, America? What does our ravenous wolf look like, by the way? Uh, the, oh, the actually, wolf. girl, you know what? Um, funny enough, the whole like um, the whole uh, brazier made of nuclear bombs. That's actually <laughs> a very old concept. That's before North Korea even did that. That's Hang like on, ten, girl. I'm yeah. trying. I'm yep. trying to find a safer work uh, image of that. One second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the wolf? Yeah. yeah. Because there's a lot wait, of gay porn in find, this shit. You can, safer, you can find safer work versions of Lieutenant Vixen Fox here. Hang on here. You can find safer work version of the wolves? Dude, it's the furry community. There's a lot of gay people oh in the God. furry community. Okay. okay. Popped collared leather jacket. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, that's my... Yep. Yep. Because we're yep. badass Americans. Yep. We badass. like leather and rock music. Was this also, the 80s? no. This is the 2001. Korean We're badass. Here, here is the um. Here's here's the scene from the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> that shit. And wow. kids watch this cartoon. Wait, For those of you who are on the IRC the, and wondering I think what those the hell are the this weasels. Right. Here. So, all right. So, oh. um, the wolf. Yeah, that. Yeah, I I'm totally into that. Cause look at this. Look, okay, here's another shot. Yeah, those are the Just, wolves. God damn. damn. Them's they our made boys. It buff as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Them's our boys. Cause we're American. We have American. protein shakes and <laughs> five thousand pound dumbbells. We take shit. Big Biggest. ass. Those squirrels. It's and just. Yet, it's just. We have actual food. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so freaking we hilarious. Me. I mean, you would think. You would think for a country for a. Uh, I shouldn't. I honestly shouldn't say a country for a government that hates us. You would think yeah. we'd be like pigs or something. Just stereotypical pigs, or just a country of a, a, or animals of a disgrace or looked down upon. But no, we are the fucking most roided up badass motherfuckers that we will well, okay. knock on I your door. To us, to us, we look badass, but maybe yeah. to them, it's a cultural thing that they <laughs> that wolves maybe wolves and foxes maybe denote like. Trickery or violence or barbarism. Yes, that like on, maybe that they're is... going. They're going for the route of even if the enemy is large, a, a tiny hero can still save the day or some shit like that. Sorry, wolves, make look sorry, and, but so. our our furry host will tell you wolves eat squirrels. Yes, yeah, they do. Also, anyway, moving on from uh, squirrels and hedgehogs murdering rats and weasels. Because <laughs> um, yes, this is a show that does feature murder. Uh, I have a couple of fix I can review real quick if we got nothing sure. else to talk about. We All have right, so. minutes.
I have first here, I've got about four. First one here was recommended to me by my lovely special sum pony, Tenkage. It's called the yeah. Destiny Trap. This is probably, this is okay. It's listed as an adventure fic, but <laughs> I would say this is adventure mild romance. This is a hardcore Trixie Glimmy ship fic. I so, don't call it hardcore. I mean, there's not like there's any actual. Well, no, there's not any actual. I still like, think he meant hardcore in that way. Yeah, I meant like it, the subtext is there so much that it might as well just admit it. So Trixie's in Manhattan shopping for uh, going through, uh, and she ends up in this old magic store she's never seen before. So she goes in, buys a trick, but something goes pretty bad when she shows it to Glimmy. The Frogert is also cursed. Sure. That's bad. <laughs> But um, but in the course of events, they basically have to go on a short adventure to try and fix the um, fix what Trixie inadvertently did, and it wasn't her fault in any way. This was a trap set by the person who sold her the tr sold her the trick. But it is honestly one of the sweetest little one shot adventure fix I've seen with Trixie and Starlight. The shipping is very subtle, but oh my god, is it there? And Trixie is honestly kind of a badass in this in this fic. Like the the main the main idea is that um, the main antagonist thinks Trixie's not worth the trap, but Trixie kind of proves, yeah, no, you really should have fucked me over too because I came after you. And the ending is well, it's nearly a word for word ending to the end of Korra with Asami. Uh -huh. So this is definitely worth a read. It took me like ten minutes to get through, and I was busy at work. So yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely worth looking into. This next one is <laughs> kind of funny. It's called the Equestria Club, and it's based off of the the reason they said it is because it's based off of the um um it's based off of uh, the Breakfast Club title. So this is a this is a fic in Equestria Girls that was made before the Equestria Girls shorts came over when Starlight came to visit um, the human world. Basically, Twilight needs a vacation, so she invites Starlight, Moon Dancer, and Princess Ember to the human world to have a sleepover at sunsets, and they spend a weekend there. And it's just random shenanigans the whole way around. It's really really strange, and it in it, the author like plays around a lot with the expectations of the two different parallel worlds, like um, Twilight meets Twilight, and when the when the when the you know the uh, bomb uh, bomb is dropped, the shining armor, and Cadence having a little baby in Equestria, human Twilight or Psy Twi just kind of goes, "Wait, what? Shining armor and Cadence aren't even dating." And they're like, "Well, how do you know?" And Twilight's like, "Well, how do you know? Because my shining armor kind of kept that from me forever." It's like because Cadence thinks he's a tool. And well, I'm just like, yeah, he is what? <laughs> so apparently, there's a lot of like different things going on here. I'm like, wow, this is interesting. Like, the author really likes the Flash and Human Flash and Pony Twilight ship, but he has Twilight saying, "He's like, well, Flash in this world is kind of is pretty damn cool and really hot, but the Flash in the other world is kind of a wiener." I'm like, what the fuck? I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's, like, that's not the main focus of it. <laughs> really neat moments. Uh, some supporting characters come back in. Derpy, Sonata makes an appearance. Um, just some really neat stuff. There's a little bit of... It's rated teen and it has a sex tag mostly because of sexual innuendo jokes and the pony girls turned into humans you know, saying, why the hell are these here grabbing their chests? And why are they so damn big? Compared to normal horse size things. <laughs> hey, boob jokes. And there's a sequel that is currently still in a work in progress called The Turkey Baking Club. Turkey Baking Club. Horrible. Oh, wow. Turkey yeah. Bacon. Well, turkey well, Bacon Club. So basically, after the events of the Equestria Club, when all the girls go back home, Starlight a couple weekends late, uh, Sunset a couple weekends later, decides to surprise visit Twilight by jumping through the portal without telling her, only to run into 
Starlight and Trixie trying to and Maud trying to babysit Flurryheart while <laughs> Twilight had to go run an errand. This will not end well. No, it's actually pretty short. Sunset is does actually really good with Flurry Hardy. <laughs> kind of cute. Um, and Sunset and Trixie's re uh, interactions are hilarious because Sunset's so used to the to the Trixie from the Equestria Girls universe, and she's still an insufferable brat compared to this one. Um, basically, to the point where I got, they had a big party, and <laughs> Sunset, Sunset, Twilight, uh, Sunset, Starlight, and Trixie get wasted and end up passed out in a hay cart behind Sugar Cube Corner cuddling together. So, yeah. It's been, it was pretty damn funny. This last one's kind of the... I'd say it's the weakest on the list, but it was still enjoyable enough. It was a little dark, and I don't think it was necessary for it to be dark at all, so I don't know. And, um... Basically, uh, Principal Celestia is given an artifact, what she thinks is an equestrian artifact by Lyra, and she decides, well, I should probably dig take care of this. So she tries to talk to, tries to get Sunset. Sunset's phone is disconnected, and she's gone because it's a three day week, a three day weekend, and she's like, well, crap. So she goes out to the statue and decides, well, I'll just pop in real quick, hand it off to somebody, and then go home. No big deal. So, Principal Celestia is now in Equestria in her pony form, which is, yes, an alicorn, and looks exactly like Princess Celestia. So everyone's bowing over her. Oh, oh yeah. you done goofed. It, it gets a little dramatic and pretty messed up. Daybreaker makes a short appearance. In a kind of a round of, in kind of a strange way, it feels like this should be the first chapter to an ongoing to an ongoing fic or a series, because um, a lot of questions are left open ended and things seemed a little too rushed. But I felt it was worth a read. I mean, it, again, it was like a ten minute read for me, so yeah, I suggest reading it. Anyway, those are my fic uh, fic picks for this week. I'm actually happy that I'm. They're leaving me alone in certain situations where I'm able to actually read this stuff at the gate and keep an eye on the uh, entra entrance to the courthouses. Used to be I had to just stand there and stare at the door because there was somebody there with me. Even if they were on their phone reading news or whatever, I couldn't do it. That actually did remind me uh, for the last story. I finished editing up the uh, Equestria Girls review, the first one. So that should be up sometime uh, either before or after the hurricane hits us. Fun times. Yeah. At least you have your priorities straight. Yeah, the weird thing is I have to go to work tomorrow as well. <laughs> Probably won't get that much business. I wonder why. Because everyone else has fled. Because everyone else is hiding in their houses nomming on ketchup-covered graham crackers. Yeah. Take... Yes. Hide your kids. Hide, hide your, your wives. Wife. And hide your husband. Because they're going to rape everybody else. Stay raping everybody out there. Yep. Can't believe we're still getting back to this, even though we were told not to. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's do uh, a next on the agenda. Let's do, a, let's do a Mad Lib. Uh, uh, look, let me go find one. Can we take a quick break? Yep, I'll yep. take a music break. We'll be back. All right. Here on Celestia Radio. All pony, all the time. Except when it's accidental weather. Okay, we're back. Um, we're back, and so, I have a Mad Lib. Let's, let's get this Mad Lib done. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can get out of here, right? Yes. Then we'll start with you. Okay, what? Adjective. Tired. Okay. Raymond? Yep. Pearl noun. Bicycles. Anyone else thinking of a Queen song now? <laughs> I <laughs> am to ride my bicycle. I I'm want to ride, ride my, my bike. bike. Oh, look what you started. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> really? Well, my girl loves Queen. Part of the body. Who doesn't? Shirley. 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, the lips. Okay. Storm? Yes? Another adjective. Chocolatey. Okay. Ten ten. Hi. Another adjective. Adjective, adjective. Hmm. <sighs> Trying to think. Caramely. Chocolatey and caramely. I know, that sounds like um uh, that sounds like a Nicky. song. Fanny? Yeah. Another adjective. Um, Why are you so bummed? Tired. It's also my adjective. That's already been done. Rejected. Oh, Fanny. <clears throat> Trey? Yo. Another adjective. Hi. Why not? You have plenty of inspiration. So adjective heavy. Yeah, wet. Oh. Okay. Uh, Grizzly? Yeah? A noun? Satellite. Kitty? Mm-hmm. Another noun. Bottle cap. Squirrel? Yes. A verb. Um... <clears throat> Description, right? No, action. Word Something you do. Action. Um, Something you do. Push buttons. Push. Push and framing? Mm hmm. Past tense verb. Flapped. Flapped? Flapped. Okay. This is a sh short one. That was it. Hmm. I just got another, uh, I just got another book. It's a, oh. about pirates. Oh, Yar, har, fiddle, dee, dee. Yes, this yeah. is a few pirate limericks. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Pirates love to sing tired bicycles called limericks. <laughs> oh, here are two favorites. Usually on the tip of every pirate's lips. Ah, that worked a little too well. Yeah. It worked way too well. A pretty chocolatey pirate named Alice broke into the king's Carmely Palace. She caused a projected scene, but she soon became queen. That pretty wet pirate of malice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's for, she, yeah, she's mad for something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There once was a satellite named Billy. His bottle cap mates considered him quite silly. He pushed up the mast without saying, without shouting, a vast. As the ship lapped to Philly. I didn't know that Philadelphia had a port. Apparently, there's a sky. Not port, anymore. At least. Starlight said it. Uh, oh. If I may say, that's it. <laughs> Raise it up here. We'll knock you out and slap you down do and never do seem to care. I'm trying to think what you're All quoting. Right, then. No, it's one of it's a it's kind of a rockish pirate pirate shanty by uh, Strange Main. <laughs> We're the filthy vermin that'll set your people free. All right then. I prefer uh, 
We're whalers on the moon. We can't eat our food. But there ain't no whale, so we tell tall tales and sing tune. That sounds like a flogging Molly cover band. No, that's for Futurama. That's like their second episode. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of pirates, I'm drinking pirate rum. Yar. Oh? Yep. It has nothing to do with it, but I did have some rims earlier. Because I tried making a, mar a martini with the last of my gin, but I found out the um, vermouth I had had gone sour. Ew. Yeah. It's, it was it kind of It actually went bad? Well, it's, it's, a white, it's a fortified white wine, so of course it can go bad once it's opened. Yeah. So... So if it's sour, so it turned into vinegar. Yeah, it had a bit of a vinegary taste to it. Ew. Yeah. Granted, I'm also I'm also pretty it. sure I'm pretty sure the olives have been sitting in my fridge for a little too long too. Oh, that's gross. All right then. Uh, think, shall we? Uh, well, uh, just so five minutes the audience said you. Can. We should probably say our goodbyes. Yeah. Yes. We Poor say Fanny sounds blood. dead. Hmm. Particularly since uh, eight bits coming up, so right, yeah. So stick yeah. around to enjoy lots of uh, inappropriate. It, it's, guy, it's it's going to be a cog night, I guess. So yeah, it's know. a shit what's, show. What's what's uh, going on? Anyway, so, so uh, until next time, which will be tomorrow. Have fun, everybody, and we shall see you for the newest episode of My Little Pony, which has already Very been leaked. Woo! Which I'm sure Very uh, half the people who listen have already seen it. Yeah, and some other yep. poor schmo lost his job over. I know nothing of what you speak. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is Rarity so, your final say? All right. For all of us here at Tree Time, this is Miss Rarity saying, "Be safe out there." And. Is you to run? And goddammit, you better run. Good night. Night. <laughs> night, everybody. Night. Night, night.